My name is Fatou Sanyang um, from Echo TV International and today on the 101 Exclusive interview we have uh, a gentleman here um, by the name uh, Mr. Ba. Mr. Ba, thank you so much for having us thank today. Thank you, Fatou. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you so much. And um, in this country and the world, global world in general, we have seen that um, uh, cybersecurity issues is trending and it's, it's affecting everyone, individually or organizations. So we're here today to discuss on that issues. So first of all, can you please help us um, tell us more what is cybersecurity? Thank you, Fatou. Uh, cybersecurity, essentially, I'll, I'll dip, give you the definition in, in two words. Uh, one on the technical side and two on the governance side. Okay. So from the uh, uh, technical side, cyber security is the process of uh, uh, laying out procedures in order to protect your uh, critical infrastructures or okay. uh, your infrastructures from uh, okay. cyber attack. Okay. And these infrastructures may include anything that is uh, connected to a global network, mm -hmm. being in your mobile phone, okay. your laptops, mm -hmm you know, your computers, you know, anything that is uh, connected to the cyberspace. Okay. You know, the process of protecting that uh, is, is essentially in short cyber security. Okay. From the governance side is the process of government putting up processes and procedures. When I say processes and procedures, here we are talking about policies and regulations okay. in order to protect the nation's critical infrastructure and avoid a country being a safe haven for cyber criminals. Okay. Essentially, this is uh, the most critical part of uh, cybersecurity definitions. We have seen that you are really interested in the cybersecurity issues. So, why cybersecurity? Why? Uh, yeah, so uh, looking at the, if you know, but it's, uh, sometimes it is very, very important uh, when we go into school. Uh, we have mentors. Uh, this is something that is very, very important. I, I was I was mentored by a Peace Corps volunteer, and you know, after completing school, he he he, he put to me that I want to look. You your your strength. One of your biggest strength uh, in IT is is networking, and in the Gambia uh, by then, you know, this uh, networking program called N Plus was rampant. So many people are going in for for N Plus program and. Uh, being somebody from the West, uh, you know, looking at the narrative, uh, he told me, look, I think it will be very, very important you start specializing into security uh, because if you do, the earlier the better, there will come a time you will be among the people who will be very, very unique in the country okay. because there will be limited capacity in terms of uh, cyber security okay. uh, uh, nationally mm -hmm. and you can be a very, very good uh, asset to your, to, to, to your country and to, 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 to even uh, the, the continent at large. Okay. This is how I... I started focusing uh, into uh, cyber security, you know, network security, electronic security. So anything that is security related, as I always say, you know, I, I work security, I talk security, I sleep security. So everything about me is, 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 is essentially security. So this is why I decided to focus on it. And also we need to understand that uh, looking at the trend of technology, Every infrastructure that you build, you need security for it. So this makes us very, very marketable also. Because any organization, any institution that has a critical information that that organization is trying to protect, you will need cyber security experts or security experts in order to uh, put up those protection mechanisms for you. So this is why I decided to uh, focus on security 100%. And thanks to the Peace Corps volunteer who essentially mentored me to focus on it. Okay, you work at G4S, so what is your main function here? Thank you. In G4S, uh, I, as, as, as a technical uh, manager working in the uh, G4S group, sometimes people are surprised, like when you see G4S and you'll be like, ah, Mr. Why are you working in G4S? What, what, what do you do in G4S? I can tell you G4S is, is, is very, very big. We are in 95 countries. And remember, we have cloud infrastructures. And yeah. Within this cloud infrastructure, security is very, very important, mm -hmm. uh, pro providing that security mm -hmm. to, to, to those infrastructures. Mm -hmm. And also, we have electronic security equipment that we deploy to all our diplomatic customers. Okay. And in, 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 in essence, providing that technological support mm -hmm. to those diplomatic side is under my domain, okay. which is one of our primary functions to make sure, mm -hmm. you know, electronic security systems and security systems that have been deployed in all our diplomatic uh, areas and our customers that we support, mm -hmm. those systems remain up and running at all time. Okay, that's, thank that's you. Thank you so much. Um, can you please give us uh, some of the effects of cyber security issues? So you, you know, the events are many, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
Let's talk about the, the positive ones. Uh, yeah. If we do look at the positive ones, mm -hmm. you know, having a very, very good cyber resilience mm -hmm. for a nation mm -hmm. is very, very good mm -hmm. because your economic growth is tied to it. Mm -hmm. Because if a nation mm -hmm. is being used by cyber criminals okay. as a safe haven, mm -hmm. nobody, no investor mm -hmm. would like to come and invest in a country where cyber crime is, is, mm -hmm. is rampant. Mm -hmm. No bank, bank financial industry or banking industry would love to come and invest in a country where hacking you know banks and hacking networks mm -hmm. is in the high increase mm -hmm. so essentially cyber security is very very important because mm -hmm. it is it is tied to everything everything that a governance process does okay. now let's look at uh, the, the the government government structures mm -hmm. you know every ministry mm -hmm. in every country mm -hmm. leverage technology mm -hmm. in order to operate mm -hmm. so the backbone of every government's mechanism is technology. This is why digital economy is very, very important. And we have to applaud the government of the Gambia, you understand, for getting us a separate ministry mm -hmm. that focuses on digital economy. Mm -hmm. So that tells you how important cyber security is. Because within this digital economy, you cannot achieve the, your aims and objectives as a government mm -hmm. if security is not put at the core. Mm -hmm. Typical example. Let's say today, if Navek is not able to deliver gas power service to the Gambians because their system is hacked, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be a national crisis. Yeah. Let's say if the, one of the GSM companies is being hacked, or all the GSM companies are being hacked, and the country went blackout, mm -hmm. no communication, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be a serious national crisis. Yeah. Let's say our national television is broadcasting news and they are yank on mm -hmm. the on the on the on the on the on the TV channel. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. So essentially all these sectors mm -hmm. are connected to cyber security. Mm -hmm. Transportation. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gambia we did not reach at that level yet where we have railways, you know, and buses that are that are internet work. And, and transmitting real-time data and real-time statistics to a command and control, we did not ring there yet. Yeah. But you'll understand these are sectors that are very, very important and they cannot do without ICT. Okay. So providing security for those infrastructure is paramount. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. How can institutions and individuals be safe? Yeah, so, you know, for, as far as safety and security is concerned or cyber uh, hygiene is concerned, it starts with us. Mm -hmm. You know, before we talk about institutions, mm -hmm. it has to start with us. Mm -hmm. You know, as, as a staff of an organization, mm -hmm. it is very, very important you be concerned of your own safety and security because yeah. it starts with us. Mm -hmm. There are so many institutions and organizations that have ICT policies that yeah. are lying out there. Mm -hmm. But are we implementing those policies? Mm -hmm. How many organizations or institutions in this country are even providing awareness training for their staffs. Mm -hmm. We are taking some of these things seriously. Mm -hmm. And the weakest link in every organization is the user. Mm -hmm. You go out, you saw a flash drive in the street. You don't know what the flash drive is made of. Mm -hmm. You just pick it and come to your office and connect it to your office computer. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen? If that flash drive is infected with serious malicious codes, mm -hmm. that can paralyze the entire organization yeah, network so. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So the awareness component is something that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And as a president of a, of a professional civil society organization called the Gambia Cyber Security uh, Alliance, mm -hmm. that is our main focus. At the continental level, the Africa Cyber Security Alliance, mm -hmm. that is our focus. At the global level, the Global Cyber Security Alliance, mm -hmm. that is our focus. Mm -hmm. How do we create awareness? Mm -hmm. How do we talk to people to be mindful of what we post online by using the you know stop think connect concept mm -hmm. before you click that button it's important you think what might be the possible harm behind that button mm -hmm. so the awareness part is something that is very very important and we need people to, to mm -hmm. be very very mindful of those things okay we have seen recently that the government of the gambia have appointed a cyber security advisor um what do you how what do you have on that step in fact that's that, that, that in fact that that reinforce what i say is that mm -hmm. that shows you mm -hmm. how important cyber security is i can tell you no nation can go in this 21st century mm -hmm. without putting cyber security mm -hmm. on top of your agenda mm -hmm. so when i received the news that the president mm -hmm. have uh, appointed a special advisor on cyber security mm -hmm. i was like yeah so it's like we soon we will be there do you understand mm -hmm. because Having you know, an advisor mm -hmm. uh, purely on cyber security mm -hmm. 
and also having a special ministry on digital economy. Mm -hmm. I think these are moves that the president has, has, has done a fantastic job with regard to the digital economy. We have been campaigning for this, we have been advocating for this, and we are happy yeah. now it has happened. Mm -hmm. So the president appointing a cyber security advisor mm -hmm. is important. People should not criticize this move. Mm -hmm. Look, we have seen that you know our central bank was was compromised sometime. Mm -hmm. So that shows you mm -hmm. how the government should prioritize cyber security. Mm -hmm. And having uh, Mr. Suleiman Kamara as an advisor to the president on cyber security is something that is very very important. So okay, thank you so much. You have made mention of several things, um, but. Uh, it's, it is important for us to know, like us individuals, we all use gadgets. We have phones, we have laptops, and we're all connected on the internet. Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have for us users, not, you know, for our data not to be hacked? Yes, oh, okay, so it, it, it's important mm -hmm. you apply the, the principles, uh, some basic principles when you come in terms of uh, cyber security uh, awareness, mm -hmm. and, and these principles is, you know, as a as a user, you have your mobile phone, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you receive uh, a, a link, mm -hmm. or uh, you saw somebody shared something in a WhatsApp WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. and said, you know, this is a scholarship package, or you know, free data bundle. This is rampant in the Gambia. You will be there all of a sudden, and you see a link will be shared. Absolutely. Say, yes. You know, uh, they will mention mm -hmm. one JSM company. Yeah. And say, they are giving two gigabyte worth of data. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you know. Some things are too good to be true. Yeah. So some of those things, let us not let us not try them. Mm -hmm. It's very very important for us to be mindful. Mm -hmm. The biggest advice that I can give Gambians for us to be safe online is mm -hmm. we need to be observant. Mm -hmm. It's very very important to be observant. Mm -hmm. And recently, another challenge that we are facing in the Gambia is people will attempt to reset or have control over other people's WhatsApp mm -hmm. uh, uh, WhatsApp platform. Mm -hmm. And what essentially they do, they attempt to reset your uh, WhatsApp mm -hmm. uh, 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 number. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, a specific reset code will be sent to you, the owner. Yeah. And this the same guy will text you or call you to say, you know, I was sending, you know, secret code to somebody mm -hmm. for money transfer mm -hmm. and it mistakenly came, 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 went to your number. Mm -hmm. Can you please send back me that number? Mm -hmm. You don't dare send those numbers. Mm -hmm. Tell the guy, try again mm -hmm. or use a different <laughs> method. Yeah. Because if you, the moment you share that number, mm -hmm. take it from me. In minutes or seconds, mm -hmm. you will be disconnected from your WhatsApp. So it means he have access to your WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. He can use your WhatsApp platform mm -hmm. to commit crime, mm -hmm. which essentially can 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 incriminate you. Mm -hmm. Another aspect that we need to be careful of is that we need to know what we put on the internet about ourselves. Mm -hmm. The internet have the longest memory that you can ever come across. Mm -hmm. So anything you put there is there forever. Mm -hmm. So it's important you be mindful of what you post about yourself. Mm -hmm. We've seen an in instance where somebody became a target for cyber criminals mm -hmm. because of her social media life. Mm -hmm. Because uh, wherever she goes, wherever she travels, she posts it. Mm -hmm. Any expensive hotel she is in, she will post it. Mm -hmm. You know, any f f you know first class airline she is flying it, with she will post it. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you are providing free information mm -hmm. to people that can use that information to target you. Mm -hmm. So our advice is, as a civil society organization that create awareness in this country is to tell people to be mindful of what they post online. Mm -hmm. It's like the more information you provide out there about yourself, the more your enemies get to know you mm -hmm. and plan to uh, uh, come up with strategies in order to know you into their trap on the social media platforms. Okay, thank you so much. Those things are very important because we always fall prey to that. Okay. We are always on the internet, on WhatsApp, Facebook, mm -hmm. etc. And sometimes if somebody will send you a link or ask you, um, congratulations, you have won this show exactly. and so and so. Exactly. Scammers are all over. Okay. So what um, final say will you have to say to yes. generalize just to Just to tell uh, Gambians that let's, let's, let's watch out. We are in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. We are in the age of AI, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. We are in the age of uh, Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. You know, our phones are connected to everything. Mm -hmm. Our laptops are connected to everything. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, our life you know, has our social life mm -hmm. in the physical world has been moved to 
the digital world mm -hmm. and because that we are so attached to these technologies we are so connected to these technologies that we cannot avoid them mm -hmm. we don't want to make people to be afraid of the internet the internet is a very very powerful tool it is yeah. a very very important tool mm -hmm. the internet is like a cutlass mm -hmm. You know, a cutlass is a good tool when you use it, you go to the bush, mm -hmm. get firewood, come and cook good food. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. But if you use cutlass to go and cut people's head, mm -hmm. it becomes a, a bad client. tool. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So the internet is also like that. It is not a bad tool. It's mm -hmm. a neutral tool. Mm -hmm. It depends on the way you use it. Mm -hmm. Let's be mindful of what we what we share on the on the, on the internet mm -hmm. and also election is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, the local government election is coming. Mm -hmm. Gambians are fond of going to the internet to insult each other yeah you know politics should not divide us mm -hmm. and uh, one thing that we need to put at the back of our mind mm -hmm. if i create a whatsapp audio mm -hmm. go online mm -hmm. insult somebody's mother mm -hmm. and send it out there mm -hmm. that whatsapp audio is on the internet mm -hmm. tomorrow i may not be interested in running for a public office mm -hmm. but my son mm -hmm. or my daughter might be interested mm -hmm. even for the past 10 years mm -hmm. people can go and bring that audio mm -hmm. and say you see this guy in fact you see this guy who is planning to run for president or yeah. run for parliament mm -hmm. or councillor or chairmanship mm -hmm. he, his father was the one who used to insult people's mother and their father here yeah mm -hmm. so your son mm -hmm. will suffer mm -hmm. because of your deeds mm -hmm. so let us be mindful of that mm -hmm. And also, we are all from religious backgrounds mm -hmm. and backgrounds of with morals. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that we would not do in the physical world. Mm -hmm. Let us not go to the internet to do some of some of those things. Mm -hmm. You know, ranging from you know, uh, uh, undressing your clothes mm -hmm. naked. Mm -hmm. You know, taking naked pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, naked videos. Mm -hmm. Sending it to your husband. Those are things that are yeah. unacceptable. You know, we should be very very careful with those because you may never know tomorrow. Today the marriage is nice mm -hmm. or the relationship is very very nice. Tomorrow something else might happen, mm -hmm. and we have seen a case like that. Yeah, and exactly. those pictures and videos can be used mm -hmm. against, against you to you. blackmail you. Mm -hmm. So we are saying let's be very very careful. Mm -hmm. The internet is a tool that can change our life mm -hmm. if we use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ba. Um, that was all we have for you for this edition of the one-on-one -on -one exclusive with me, Fat Sanyang. You can follow us on our social media handles, Echo TV International, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Thank you so much. One advice I would like to give to all of you, like especially women out there, that they should be very vigilant in using the internet. The internet can be used as a useful tool to educate and entertain ourselves, but we should know that every data and information we put out there will be there forever. So it is um, advisable to know how to use it. Thank you so much.